Okay, it's 11 a.m. Let's give her a go. Oh my, it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah, they're getting buried. <sighs> all these bees, all these hives have have top entrances, so they're okay. But I definitely don't like this. They're uh, the shrews can go doo -doo -doo and jump right in. So really, what I should do is next time I'm out here, I should come out and uh, pin some mesh to the top of those those top entrances. But anyway, this is it so far. <laughs> <clears throat> and it's just getting started. Oh my. Oh my my. Oh my my. Okay. I really need to put some mesh on the top of those those top entrances, but I can't do it now. Is there a hive here? No, there isn't. Okay. All right, that's it. They might get buried completely, and by the looks of it, they're going to be buried completely by tomorrow morning. But they can hold their breath for for the night. I love the snow though. It's the best insulation you can get. Best insulation, best windbreak. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. <sighs> I'm going in. I'm done. Good night, bees, and good luck. Okay. Let's see how the bees are doing. <clears throat> Oh, geez. <laughs> that one is okay. <laughs> Everybody else is completely buried. I got a little bit of work ahead of me. Hooey. So these aren't the tops of the hives. These are the tops of the mounds of snow that were on top of the hives. And those snows, those mounds were about probably a foot high. So, the, the highs are way down there somewhere. They're not, anyway, and I see three mounds, but there's a fourth hive somewhere. I think it might be right there. This is gonna be fun. We'll just, we'll just clear the, uh, the top entrances, as long as they can breathe, that's, that's step one, and I'll... I managed to staple on some quarter inch mesh into the, that top entrance of this hive. And uh, so they can breathe. And uh, if they need to get out, hopefully they'll have enough sense to go up to that top entrance and get out. But they're also clustering very low in the hive, so they may not even think about coming up. Anyhow, this is it for now. And uh, the only reason I've got that mesh on is to keep shrews from getting in because now with the snow so high, shrews can easily just, you know, get a whiff of 20,000 bees all huddled in a hive, uh, defenseless and clustering because they're cold, and they just hop into that top entrance and pick away at the cluster, one bee at a time, until they're all dead. So, I got to do this. <sighs> and it ain't easy. Getting down on my knees. Well, you can see a couple of bees are getting out, so it's that's okay. As long as I don't see like a big clump of bees getting out, usually that's a sign of uh, 
something in the hive, spooking them and scaring them and stressing them and making them push out. I could take my shovel out and dig right down to the bottom entrances and try to clear the bottom entrances, but they're, they're probably impacted snow and ice now, so it's going to be difficult. So I'm just going to leave it alone. This is, uh, it's cold, but that's okay. And all this snow is going to provide a perfect windbreak because these bees are not going to be exposed to wind anymore. And, uh, and it's excellent insulation as well. So it might be a little bit too much insulation, but we'll see. If I didn't tell you this, this was a, a bee yard, you wouldn't guess it probably. Neither would I.